access to the entire Plus catalog full of Audible originals, audiobooks, and podcasts. Plus, you'll get all the ad-free versions of popular shows as well, and exclusives. You can download and stream without limit, and you can listen offline as well, which is very helpful. The app is very easy to use. It's free to download. You can use it on your smartphone, on tablets, and it saves your spot. So if you're listening in the car um, on your phone and then you come in and want to listen on your laptop or desktop, very easy. Saves your spot and picks up where you left off. I really wanted to start listening to a dog podcast and I looked in my Facebook group that I really liked about podcasts that people recommended and this one came very highly recommended and I found it on Audible. It is called Shaped by Dog with Susan Garrett. Susan Garrett is a master and I really like um, positive force-free training and that's why I wanted to look in my positive dog training Facebook group for suggestions. They're coming out with new episodes every single week. The latest one is how to create kid-friendly dogs and dog-friendly kids. I think something that is very overlooked and if you have a dog, I highly recommend that you take a listen. Even if you've had your dog forever, you'll definitely learn something new and it just creates a better relationship for you and your pet. So if you are interested in that or in checking out the thousands and thousands of different titles, you can go to audible.com slash gb or just text gb to 500 500 and get your 30 day free trial of audible plus. That's audible.com slash gb or text gb to 500 500. Thank you so much audible for the sponsored Saturday. Hey, how are you? Are you upset that I'm going back to school? I know you are. You can't hide it from me. But it's alright. I'll be back soon. Yeah, this semester's actually really short. Mm-hmm. I had a really good break. Thanks for hanging out with me so much. Well, it's not like we could go out, really, so I think we made it fun anyway. Yeah, I'm just packing up everything. I think I'm driving back probably, like, right after lunch tomorrow. So, I'm trying to decide what I want to bring. Well, you know I love skincare, and I just have too much stuff. It doesn't seem worth it to pack it all up just for a semester, but I can't decide. Do you want to look at my stuff? (laughs) I think you're old enough to get into skincare. I don't think you can start too early, actually. If you start now, you'll actually be in a much better place than I was. I didn't get into skincare until I was a little bit older, actually. Start taking care of it now. Oh, yeah. You're going to be the fountain of youth. Come on, let me show you. Please. What do you wash your face with right now? You do not. Come on. Sit down. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to leave now. Not after you told me that. You have so much to learn. I'm a terrible big sister. You didn't know this? Any of this stuff? Do any of these products look familiar to you? (sighs) It's okay. You're here now. That's what matters. Okay. First things first. What do you use to take off dirt or if you're wearing makeup or anything like that? What do you use? First things first, you need to not use makeup wipes, okay? They are horrific for the environment, and honestly, 
there's much better products out there to help you. Let me show you. Look, this is almost empty. This is how much I use. I use this every night. I wish it came in a glass bottle. But this is the Bioderma uh, Micellar Water. Okay, it literally just looks like a little bit of like sudsy water in there. And this can be your makeup remover. I'll give you a couple of these, but you can buy them on Amazon really cheap. Reusable cotton pads. Mm hmm. So, I've probably used these like 50 times already. You just put them in the washing machine in the little mesh bag that it comes with, throw them in with a load of your laundry, and they're just good as new. They look like cotton rounds, but it's just like a little bit of fabric. And if you want a uh, more plush one, oh gosh, I forget where I got these from. I feel like this was a micellar water brand as well. But this one is super fluffy. And a little bit bigger. So you can try both of these and see which one you like. And then just buy more of them and they'll last you so long. Okay? So. You just take a bit of this, put it on your cotton pad, and use this to wipe off dirt, grime, makeup. It works great on mascara, eyeliner, everything like that. It's super gentle, doesn't burn your eyes. Yeah, I have a problem with that sometimes. Um, the stuff that like you can take your eye makeup off with, it like burns. And I was like, ooh, I don't think that's right. So I really love this. Like I said, I'm almost done. I could buy a new one when I'm down at school. And you can finish this one up, see how you like it. This should still last you at least a week or so. There you go. Alright. Then, after you take off like the bulk of whatever's on your face, you need to pre-cleanse. This is a two-step cleansing. You're looking at me like you have no idea what I'm talking about. That's fine. We have options here. So, what I use for a while is this pre-cleanse oil. And, um, I don't think I'm gonna buy Clinique again. I found out that they aren't, um, animal cruelty friendly. So, I'm actually in the market for another cleansing oil. I'll probably ask some of my friends at school. Um, but this, you just take a couple pumps of the oil, and you actually use oil to clean your face. Yeah, it sounds a little backwards, but I promise this is like it rubs up and off of your skin so like, <laughs> sorry this makes it sound so dramatic, but all the dirt and extra makeup so I usually only use this like on like my eye makeup and then this will take off my foundation really well you lather it all over your face, I do it on my eyes to get the rest eyebrows, face all over and then you rinse, rinse, rinse with water. It is oil, so you do have to like get a lot of water, like rub it off your face. But then bam, your face is ready to be cleansed. There's nothing in the way, okay? The other one that I've been trying is this cleansing balm. It smells smells really good. It's a little strong. Maybe I think I might use too much. This is from Then I Met You. And it comes with a little stick. Here, it smell. It's like tropical. Yeah. It comes with a little stick. I don't want to get my hands greasy. But you take the stick and you get like a little bit off. And you wipe it on your 
face and then yeah it seems like greasy same idea as the oil it just comes in a more solid state it's kind of like butter um but this one says that you should avoid contact with eyes so i rub around my whole face except for my eyes and then i like use oil for the eyes and then my solar water so after that you're ready to wash your face this is godly absolutely sent from the heavens first of all it's in a glass bottle we love this is youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser i don't know if it i don't know how much like the kale and spinach and all that does but i will say my skin has literally never looked better you can see how much i've used this is my first bottle of it but it is amazing pump lather in your hands okay you don't want to get a pump of soap and then just slap it on your face you need to take this lather 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 and then use the lathery bubbles on your face 30 to 45 seconds you don't want to under or over scrub just with your fingers and then rinse 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 with water i use like warm water i've heard different things definitely don't use hot water i've heard good things about using cold water but i don't hate myself so if you don't want to spend that much money this is what i use when i shower um so like sometimes i'll use this cleanser sometimes i'll use this cleanser this is really really affordable you can get it at the like walgreens or cvs or whatever um there's actually one that i liked better but they didn't have it so i got this one the brand is simple and this is the moisturizing face wash again pop it open get a little bit it's kind of like a gel consistency lather 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 wash your face it doesn't really have a smell easy sometimes i'll do like this in the morning when i shower and then this at night etc etc and now we're not done absolutely not do you moisturize Moisturizing is the last step. We have things to do. Let me, let me educate, let me educate you about this, please. Okay, so I switch these up every other day. Um, up to you. I've heard different things from different people, but I'm just telling you what I do. I'm not, I'm just, you know, a consumer. This is from the same people as the superfood cleanser this is kombucha and 11 percent aha exfoliation power toner um lactic and glycolic acid black tea tree bark so this is a chemical exfoliant sounds scary it's not um really good for your skin um, and i use the same one of these get a little bit on there and wipe around my nose cheeks chin forehead avoid your mouth and your eyes because it's like um, it will tingle a little like a little bit of a burn but like a good burn don't worry it's it's supposed to do that and that's what i do pretty much every other day sometimes less and then in the mornings when i remember it's not every single day um but i try to do it every morning i just get lazy this is the paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant it's salicylic acid it's supposed to unclog and shrink in large pores i think that's kind of bull i don't think you can shrink pores smooth and even skin tone lightweight liquid absorbs quickly i heard this is good for like fine lines um so i'll do this this is like this one doesn't burn it's like a little more gentle than the aha this is the bha but 
face on a cotton pad. All over your face. Mm -hmm. It's good. I'm, I don't mean like, skincare is hard because you can't like usually tell right away. All I know is that I've been using all these things and my skin looks better, right? It's like, why not keep doing it? This is what I used to use um, right after washing my face. I should probably use it up. I think it's probably too old. I should throw it out. You want it? You can use this. This is a toner and moisturizer. It's like a liquid moisturizer. Um, I really, really like this. And it's from Laneige. It doesn't smell like much, but this is actually really nice. It's it's done me well over over a year, and this has like a 12 month expiration. So get used in this. Get used in this. It softens and moisturizes. This is cool because I've never seen like a liquid moisturizer before, but it really does work. Yeah, I'd probably pop like a little bit of a cream moisturizer on top, but I didn't always, like, I didn't use to, and it, it really was fine. Cool, right? Yeah. Well, it's, like, another toner option, but it's not gonna, like, exfoliate like the other two do. It's different. Okay. Then, a couple of moisturizer options. Um, first of all, SPF. Especially in the morning. I don't put it on at night. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to put it on at night, but I only do it in the morning. This is SPF 50, which is a little excessive, but that's okay. Because this, I just found. It was actually a gift um, from mom. Yeah, she probably didn't give you one because she knew you wouldn't use it. But you should. Comfy Water Sunblock. This is so good. It's perfect for skin. It doesn't feel like a sunblock. It feels like a light moisturizer. Even on cloudy days, even in the winter, put this on SPF, please. Okay. And that's gonna really be your best bet for protecting your skin over a long period of time. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's nice. It is nothing like, you know, the sunblock we had to put on at the beach when we were kids. Terrible. Ugh. Greasy. Awful. You're an adult. Kinda. Use this. I'm taking this with me, but I'll send you some. I promise to use it. Okay. Love this. Moisturizer-wise, I... I've been using the Curology Moisturizer. It's perfect. They do like um, skincare specifically for you. So like I had to fill out stuff about my skin. Um, so you probably could. You could go on and do that. It'd probably be like a very easy attainable skincare for you because they just give you three things. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and you just use those because I feel like I'm overwhelming you a little bit. Okay, well, I am obsessed with their moisturizer. The texture is just, it's better than the other moisturizer I've been using. I'll show you in a second. It comes in a little pump, a little bit, goes a long way. It's like, to me, no, no fragrance or anything over the top. It feels like a gel with the softness of a cream. Yeah. So I've really been liking this one. But you definitely want to put a moisturizer on. The other one, this one's a, a staple. I ripped the label off. It's the CeraVe moisturizer. This comes in a huge tub. You can use this as like a body lotion. There's enough to go around. Now, this one, again, a little goes a long way. This 
this is a creamier one. It makes my face feel a little bit more oily. Um, so that's why I've been using the Curology one recently, but this is really cheap and it works very well, very well. And like I said, you could use it on like any dryness of your like neck, arms, whatever. Um, and it's not like you don't feel like you're wasting like some expensive moisturizer. So I really, I do really like it and I've had this for a, a long time and I'm not finishing it anytime soon. So those are my two moisturizers, really. I do have this mask. Sometimes I'll use this as my moisturizer at night. It's actually a sleep mask. It's called the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. It's a jelly pudding mask. And I was like, oh. So this is like, if you really need some hydration. Look, it's like bouncy. It's jelly. Look at it. But you like get a clump, sorry, of it. And all over your face. I kind of lay it on, not too thick, but thicker than usual. Um, and this really, really hydrate your skin overnight. Especially if you have like a fan on you. Ugh, you're crazy. Never. I'll leave this with you. Yeah. No, no, no. I think this would be fun for you. And I feel like you'd actually use it. Sleep mask. You don't have to do it every night, but it's, it's really good. And it didn't make me break out at all. I also have body butter. Oh yeah, this is new. From the body shop. Now, this is a body moisturizer. I know you get really dry, like, upper arms, so this may be good help there. It smells amazing. Oh, mangoes, 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 mangoes. Put this on your arms, maybe? Wanna try it? It is like really like butter. It's like greasy. <laughs> Rub it in. You're so dramatic. Mm. All right, I can buy myself another one. You can keep this one. I'm so nice to you. Speaking of masks. I have two. Three. I have three. I just got a new one. Okay, first one. I got swindled on Instagram into buying this, except I really like it, so I guess maybe swindled isn't the right word. Azurai. This is a mud mask. It's Australian red clay. Brightening detox mask. I do this when I'm like, I have a moment of like, It gets everywhere, so like stay in the bathroom when you do this. It is clay, it stains, so be careful. Um, it says you can do it two to three times a week. I don't do it that often, but like a little goes a long way. It's like a tiny, tiny, tiny tube, but you don't need that much to cover your face. Mud mask, clay mask all over. Let it sit. I usually do like 15 minutes until like it dries um and then wash it off it's a little hard to get off so i use like an old washcloth to help and this is one of the ones that i feel like you can tell right after you use it yeah so this is a nice one pretty packaging too and the other one kind of similar. It's another clay mask. This is from Biore, and it's the Yuzu Lemon and Papaya Brightening Clay Mask. This one is intense. It like, yeah, like that, like that sound effect. Lifts dead skin cells, boosts radiance to improve tone and texture. 
my skin is red after using this because it's like, you know, it's getting in there. You can tell it's like getting in there. It says, I'm feeling a little tingle. Don't worry, that's the mask hard at work. So, mm, I don't know. I can smell it. Yeah, kind of tropical again. This is a fun one, but um, this one you only keep on for like three to five minutes. So I would do this like, I don't know, like right before you're about to get in the shower maybe. And then when you're in the shower, you can wash it off. You can keep this one. It's fun. I like that it comes in a little baggy tube thing. 88% less plastic. And it's really easy to store. Mm -hmm. Last one I have. Okay, this one's a little... Maybe you don't need yet. You, know, you gotta prove yourself with your skincare routine first. This is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I need this. My skin gets so red, my under eyes, and this comes in this beautiful tube. It's got like a... I haven't used too much of it yet. Because again, a little goes such a long way. But it comes with one of those tube keys. What do they even call it? Yeah, tube key. And you use this to like squeeze down and like flip it over so that you get every last drop of this mask. This is gonna last me forever. So I try to use it like pretty often because I'm not gonna run out anytime soon, right? So for this one, I just put, I usually use it under my eyes, but um, it just says on cleansed dry skin, apply a thin even layer with fingertips, maybe used under and over the eye area. Leave for 10 minutes for maximum hydration. Blot with a warm cloth if necessary. No need to rinse. So I just kind of let it sit. To be honest with you. You can use like just the tiniest bit. Like this is literally, this is enough. This is too much. And it just goes right. You do the PRA, brightening clay mask, and tell me how that goes, okay? Then, I've been trying this out, Rare Beauty. It is a four-in-one mist, so I think you can use it as like a primer, but I like to use it at the end. Let me see. It smells so good. I'm pretty sure there's rose in it. I threw the packaging away. So this is just like a refresher, a little spray, so nice, yeah, makes you smell good and you feel very luxurious. Maybe I'll give it to you for your birthday, but this one's mine. You're probably like, what the heck is that? This is from one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Simply Now Logical. Oh, you watch her? Yes. Okay. I've been doing this for a while. Every time I need to grow my nails, um, it's basically a little, like, brush tube. And I filled it with a mix of jojoba oil and vitamin E. And then you take the pen and you have to click it to, like, get the oil to come out of the brush, so you go like this. This is a new one I just filled. Okay, 
So yeah, you can see there's like a little bit of oil on the brush. This goes here on your cuticles. Okay, like that. And then you also want to put it inside, like underneath your nail. So I do this whenever I think of it. Like literally whenever I'm thinking about it. Watching TV right after dinner, before I go to bed. The worst part is that my nails break. And since I haven't really been able to go to the nail salon, I'm trying to take care of my nails on my own. And I've kind of like rediscovered my love for like nice nails, nail polish, etc. I had gel nails on for so long. Here we go. I have a ton of these, so I'll just give this to you. You don't even have to wear nail polish. It's just, like, to make your nails look nicer. Um, but I, like, have a ton. I just put it in my purse. I put it on my desk, etc. And then you kind of just rub in the oil. Just rub it in. And there you go. Last thing. I promise, I promise, I promise. You're doing so well. Lip care. So, this has been one of my favorites forever. I'm sure you've seen me use it. Actually, I'm pretty sure you stole it from me once. Fair enough, honestly. The Laneige Sleep Lip Mask. I don't even use it for bed that much. I, like, would just use it in the morning, night. I basically use it as my chapstick. And I just get, if I didn't have oil over my fingers, a little bit, put it on, bam. I'll use like a microscopic amount before I put lipstick on, stuff like that. It smells amazing. I have really dry lips for some reason, and they used to like crack and bleed. Them. This one's new. It's from the same brand as the mask that I showed you. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Very similar to the Laneige. Again, like you just get a little bit. I don't know what it is about these packages, but the product just like loves to like just plop out. So here, just take some. Take some. Take some. Take some. Like that. And Put a little bit on. It almost feels like Vaseline, but not as disgusting. Yeah, this one's been really, really good too. Love this one. Use when your lips need some extra hydration throughout the day. Always constantly for me personally. So, um, which one do you want to try? I'll take one and leave one. that one. And now I feel like I have successfully educated you a little bit, or at least hopefully piqued your curiosity on skincare. Well, I didn't really have a big sister to show me these things. I just had to go to YouTube all the time. And I know you're not watching skincare videos on YouTube, so I must pass my knowledge to you. All right, well, when I come back from school, I can tell your, your skin is just going to be glowing. You're going to be a changed person. <laughs> I know, I'm going to miss you too. Be nice. Be nice to mom and dad. And um, let me know how things are going in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tough year. I get that. But I feel like summer's just around the corner. <laughs> By the time I come back, it's gonna be, like, warm. We can go to the beach. Okay. I'm gonna finish packing. Wanna help? <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, just go grab that bag over there. We'll start